Because it's a serious problem. So the, if the wives understand that, then instead of condemning their husband, why are you so weak? How come you can't control your eyes? Instead of knowing that, they would accept this is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are funny Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. And before we get into the reaction, because I wanna thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. Thank you so much. You're the realest MVP. And keep on subscribing. And also, if you're new to this channel, we are funny and Jesse. We do a lot of reaction videos. If you have any kind of reaction, just let us know on the comment section below and we're gonna do it for you. So today we're gonna do uh, the, uh, so today I'm gonna react to something really amazing and this one actually goes out at, and this one actually goes out there to all the ladies uh, and the title goes by how to be a good wife so let's see um, what it takes for you to become a good wife so without any further ado let's get it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created men and women very differently. Men, their biggest weakness is women. They could be richer, they could be poor, they could be, you know, healthy and not very healthy, you know, skinny and fat or tall, doesn't matter what culture, what language, all of them have the same weakness, women. And women, Allah Azza wa Jal, many in majority cases, He made them oblivious to this weakness of men. They don't realize how bad it is. So when the ayah comes and a woman reads it, lower their gaze, oh yeah, I could do that. And they're like, they're, what's the big deal? Why can't men just lower their gaze? And then you tell them, you don't understand. What don't I understand? You have eyes, I have eyes. They have retina, you know. <laughs> it processes the same information. So what's the problem? You see, they're not, they don't understand the power of this desire that Allah desire. subhanahu wa ta'ala put inside of us and mentioned as number one, zuyya lil nas hubbu shahawat min al nisa. Number one of the desires that were beautified for men were desires for women. Right? The number one fitna, the Prophet ﷺ fears for the men of this ummah is what? Women. Because it's a serious problem. So the, if the wives understand that, then instead of condemning their husband, why are you so weak? How come you can't control your eyes? Instead of knowing that, they would accept this is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to, uh, you, the wife has a role of supporting her husband and becoming strong. And she can do that by warding temptations off from him not by lecturing him. You know, and, and this is the other thing that's very important for wives to understand. The husband, he goes to the office, or he goes to the train, and there are women horribly dressed, they're sitting there smiling at everybody, trying to, you know, basically this is all these women have in terms of their dignity. They're not respected for their intellect, they're not respected for their opinions, so all they think is that we're gonna be respected if men see more of our, you know, our shame. So they, they dress it in decent fashion because when men look at them, they feel kind of, you know, self-respect, like I'm worth something, people are looking at me. That's basically what it is. It's really horrible, it's sad. But then they go to the office and the secretary is smiling at you saying, how are you, how was your day? You know, what are you getting for lunch? Oh, you're fasting, oh, that's nice. And then you go, you know, on every ad, women are smiling at you and then you get home. And you open the door and the wife says, where were you? Oh, the, 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 tra <laughs> the train was late. Oh, every day the train is late. Oh, I understand. You know? And there's a frown every day. And the first day it's okay, the second day it's okay. Ten years of this, twelve years of this, what's gonna happen? The husband has resentment towards the wife, even if he doesn't say anything. He's building resentment inside. And the simple, simple solution of the Messenger وسلم, a smile of the wife when the, the husband comes home. You know how big a deal this is? This is not a small thing. It stabs the husband when the husband comes home and the wife doesn't care. And you know, he's very disturbed by that. He may not say something, but it really, really hurts husbands. And it hurts the relationship, and it comes out in weird ways. Now that they're hurt, they're kind of upset as they're having dinner. Oh, there's not enough salt in here. And they're extra angry at the kids, they're frustrated. But the same scenario, the, the wife opens the door and she greets the husband with a smile. Just a smile, it's not expensive. But what happens? The rest of the night goes smoothly. The husband's in a good mood, he's talking to her. When he's talking to her, I, I don't want to talk right now, I have a headache. Is that going to happen? All started from where? 
just one little act of the wife. These are simple solutions, but they're powerful solutions. And you don't take care of these solutions, and things, this baggage just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up, and that's where you get those statistics. Because the husband doesn't even want to look at the wife. She's just annoying. You know, she just does this or that, right? So, both sides have to understand. They have to take care of the other side. Instead of expecting from the other side, just make a goal for yourself to take care of the other side. Wow. Uh, such a nice, simple message <laughs> right there. Um, I mean, people people go through a lot, especially when you're in a in a marriage situation. Probably just let's think about marriage marriage situation because I think this is more of a um, I mean better example. And um, in a marriage platform, everybody has to play a role. You get it. So in most cases. Uh, men are providers men find themselves out there trying to go and you know get something come back home bring food and whatnot and in the most cases women are home builders they will probably take care of the house and take care of the family and whatnot I'm not saying this just to uh, forget the fact also women go to work or something or yeah I mean also women go to work come back and yeah you know uh, just do a, a one one or two things but anyway so in this context I'm, I'm trying to explain something um, you find a husband just coming back from work probably really tired he went through a lot at work and he just wants to come back home and you know see the smile of his wife and you know rejuvenate himself and become a better person but now it turns out to be the opposite of what he is he expected so you come home you find your wife frowning asking you where were you and whatnot and this thing keeps on happening throughout maybe one year or maybe even 10 years i mean this some somehow affects someone's um self-esteem uh, even even sometimes it, 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 it changes your perception on how you look at your wife or how you view your wife you get my point uh, trust issues also they're going to emerge from that scenario over there I think if we become better humans be able to take care of a situation and see that situation if if I was the one who was uh, coming home and I f see you frowning at me asking me where 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 you coming from you know uh, just try to put yourself in that someone uh, just try to put yourself in that shoe of course you're gonna feel bad you, you, you'll feel de demoralized again my point because you just want to come home and be close to your wife or be close to your husband and then all of a sudden you're just bombarded by you know questions that you can't even answer it even if you answer it correctly, they're going to be perceived in the wrong way or something. So, uh, there's so much that has to be done in marriage platform. There's so much. There is level of understanding, you know. Uh, as a husband, try to um, look at things in a very different perspective. Also, as a, as, as a lady, you know, ladies are the ones who are, are, are you know, they are special creatures. For me, I believe that women are closer to God compared to men. So they ought to have that ability of, you know, uh, just ultimate understanding, uh, taking care of situation in a very, very, uh, 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 in a very, very distinct manner. You get my point? I mean, they are just up there. You get my point? And for them it's easy to take care of things it's easy that's why a woman can take care of a bunch of stuff at the same time compared to a man a man cannot multitask that much a lady can do a lot of things that's why ladies are always um always taking care of the baby cooking over there washing over here 
doing that doing this you get my point i mean it's something that is really incredibly it's like a talent type of thing it's something that a man can never do it can never do it give that man a whole year or even i don't know decade he will never ever come close to that sort of ability so what i'm trying to say is this that uh, everybody needs to understand their role in a family set i think from there that's when we begin to uh to see changes to see probably even the loopholes and whatnot uh, okay you didn't do this and you know this is your responsibility so you have to take care of it you get my point so now that you understand that your responsibility is this if you do something wrong you will be hold, you'll be held accountable but not in a bad way you will be there to correct it and put it in place again you get my point so i mean sometimes it becomes hard just to be in a relationship or even be in a marriage situation because of you know all those pressure that are coming in you get my point and sometimes people just want to quit people just want to let go you get my point but as long as you have the clarity of understanding uh valuing each other that's very important Instead of shouting at somebody just try and be lenient enough to you know talk to somebody be just n nobody's gonna kill you for doing that you get my point yeah i mean there are so many factors but this i man this is such an amazing video by how to be a good wife but this mainly is just directed to uh, to to become a good wife you know uh, just the way this guy this guy has talked about there's a lot of truth in in it you get it as a wife you're supposed to welcome your husband as he comes back home you're supposed to smile you know uh even if it means to kiss your husband just kiss your husband even if it means to you know um entertain your husband make your husband feel welcomed you get my point you will always want to come home early but if he, if he comes home and then the first question is like where have you been then it's gonna deplete his ability of even him wanting to come back early in the house or something like that. It's gonna be so bad. It's gonna be so demoralizing for him. Anyway, thank you so much. If you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, so give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section, tell us exactly what you want us to react to. And also, the most important thing don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out